Yo po crock. A Baroque Agent Squat. 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 A My Niston give me ammo. Squat, squat, squat. A Kuti go yambo. Bang. Yambo. Yambo. Yo po crock. Never, never, never forget. Never forget. Aite ataku, ichi mai hiku. Are kore sore, taisetsu na no dore. Dore da. Ira nai mono sute cha o. Nisen counter dake arashi awase na no kamoshira nai da ro. Oh. Um. Kyuyama to. Cardi Kaizoku. Yellow purple crocodile, what took you so long? Honestly, blue purple crocodile has soured my attitude towards crocodile in general, but that's not fair to my yorpal bro. It's not right to blame Yorpal Croc for the sins of Blorpal Croc, so I'm formally apologizing to the 8 cost crocodiles I ripped on stream. Uh, you can check out the stream VOD if you want to see that action. Anyway, let's take a look at the leader. Crocodile is a yellow purple special attribute leader with 5000 power and 4 starting life. His leader ability reads, opponent's turn, once per turn. When you return Dawn from your field to the Dawn deck through one of your effects, add one Dawn from your Dawn deck as active. It's a pure utility effect that lets you get a sneaky 1 extra dawn on your opponent's turn. He also lets you use some really strong purple effects on your opponent's turn with impunity. Our card pool of choices that utilize this effect isn't too wide, but the ones that we do have are pretty good and make for a pretty decent deck. So let's dive into the list, starting by cost we have. 4 OP04 Miss Valentine. We get a 2 cost Baroque Work Searcher, but she can actually even search for herself. Her trigger even lets you play her essentially for free as the Dawn you return can be recovered by your leader ability. The Dawn recovered will be active too. 4 OP03 Sanji Yellow has the good 2k counters for the deck. Sanji is one of them. Our deck is quite top heavy so playing out a Sanji early just to get a draw in while swinging at leader gives you something to do early on. 4 OP04 Capone Gang Bedge Speaking of good yellow 2k counters, we include the best one in our deck. His trigger can outright win you games when it comes down to the wire, since it can prevent a leader or a character from attacking. 4 OP04, Mr. 13 and Miss Friday. A Baroque Works 2k counter, searchable by Miss Valentine. I'll admit I've never used his main effect before. 4 Starter Deck 7, Charlotte Brulee. Having a trigger blocker can help you stabilize your late game where you truly shine. 4 Starter Deck 5, Uta. Uta is our mid to late game stall queen. She utilizes Crocodile's leader ability perfectly, allowing you to block something, return one Dawn to rest another 5 cost or lower character, bring that Dawn back as active through your leader ability, then also allows you to play event counters with that active Dawn. You can pretty much stop 3 attacks thanks to her. 4 OP04 Miss All Sunday Quite the pivotal card in our deck, she both ramps and draws us a card. Going first, we ramp to 8 by our 4th turn, going second, we ramp to 9 by our 4th turn, this opens up options to play either 8 cost Katakuri or 9 cost Yamato by our 4th turn. In the late game, her trigger becomes quite useful. Returning a Miss All Sunday back to life with Katakuri and then triggering her again means you return 2 Dawn to player. Then your leader ability ramps 1 active Dawn, then Miss All Sunday's on play ramps you 1 rested Dawn while drawing you a card as well. So you're back at full Dawn with an extra life and a card in hand. She can even swing before you play Katakuri since she's a 5k stat line. Form OP04 Mr. 4 Another mid-game stall option, he can block for 7k once a turn for free since he gains plus 1k and gains blocker for a single battle if you return 1 dawn when an opponent attacks. 5 dawn to block for 7k is great value in the mid-game. 4 OP03, Charlotte Katakuri. Katakuri is like a Swiss army knife card for us. We can use him as removal to bottom life any pesky cards on field. We can even use him to heal ourselves by returning any of the plentiful good trigger cards we run in our deck back to our life. 4 OP04, Crocodile. 8 cost crocodile really turns our deck on. He has perfect synergy with our leader ability. To begin with, he heals 1 life on play for 2 return dawn. This means it's usually better to wait until 10 dawn to play him so we don't get stuck at 8. On top of that, once per turn when your opponent attacks, you can return 1 dawn to draw 1 card and discard 1, helping us fix our hand. This return dawn is ramped back as active from our leader. This crocodile card is what helps us activate cockroach mode. You can cycle out cards with no counter like Miss All Sunday in the late game to pick up pivotal 2k counters or event counters. 4 OP04 Yamato Yamato is another card that helps us activate cockroach mode. When we're at 1 or less life, Yamato heals us for 1 life on play. 
They also have a KO effect on play that lets you KO any character with cost equal or less than the life totals between you and your opponent. You and your opponent will usually be quite healthy given the nature of Yellow Purple Crocodile's deck, so you'll always find something to KO. For our events we run, 4 Starter Deck 4 Blast Breath. 1 Dawn for 4k counter is why Radical Beam is so strong. Crocodile's leader ability lets you play this for free as the cost of returning 1 Dawn can be recovered. In fact, you can even chain 2 of these back to back with only 1 active Dawn open since Crocodile's leader ability ramps an active Dawn back. You will however be down 1 Dawn if you do since our leader ability can only work once per turn, but 8k counter seems well worth the price. Blast Breath slots into any turn that you use your leader ability with another card, making it really hard to trade against you in the late game. 3 OP02 Hell's Judgment This slot is flexible, Hell's Judgment is sort of a meta call on my end. Similarly to Blast Breath, the dawn you return to play Hell's Judgment can be ramped back. Hell's Judgment gives minus 3k to 2 targets. This minus 3k persists the whole turn. This card is great at stopping something like Whitebeard dropping an ace since you can give minus 3k to both ace and their leader, stopping both a 7k and a 6k swing. It's great into Zoro as well as it prevents them from damaging you too much when they're going white. It's great into leader kid and 7 cost black Luffy too since the minus 3k persists between both of their double swings. For starting hands, we really want to hit Miss All Sunday on curve. Next in priority is Miss Valentine to search for Miss All Sunday in case you don't get one in your opening hand. She also helps find 8 cost crocodile for your late game. Sanji is our last resort opener as he can at least draw you one card before dying. Some cards to consider are starter deck 9, Narikabura Arrow. This would be an option over Hell's Judgment. It gives minus 3k to a target when you're low on life for 1 dawn. I thought it would be neat as a late game option as you'll always have one active dawn open thanks to your leader ability. You can even chain Blast Breath into a Narikabura Arrow with only one open dawn. Its trigger can save your ass sometimes too, allowing you to heal for one life by discarding two cards in hand. OP04 Miss Merry Christmas She fills the same slot as Brulee, but I wasn't sure if having no counter was worth it even though she's a bigger body, but she is searchable for us. The strengths of the deck are Late Game Engine Being able to cycle cards with 8 cost crocodile in the late game helps us consistently find answers to protect your board or set up your next turn. Cockroach Mode Katakuri, Crocodile, and Yamato all have the ability to heal you and you will have many defensive options to stall the late game. Wild card, baby. No one knows what the heck your deck does, but I hope this video doesn't change that. The weaknesses of the deck are Miss No Show. Against aggressive decks, it's pretty necessary to hit Miss All Sunday on curve to get your late game engine online. This isn't as bad of an issue against slower decks though. 10 cost Do Flamingo. A lot of our finishing power is loaded into our 9k bodies. 10 cost Doflamingo, keeping them tapped can really lock them down. Too many buttons. This one isn't really a weakness, I, I just want a space to whine about it. This is only an issue on the sim and probably only an issue for me, so if you're only playing in person, this doesn't apply. But there's too many buttons to click to play this deck. When you're starting out, you will be overwhelmed with how many dialogue options you have to bypass if you don't want to activate anything and just counter. I have accidentally returned Dawn to activate something by accident many times but I also can't think of a better way to handle these interactions on the sim, so just have to get used to it, I guess. So that's my yellow purple crocodile deck. I only tested it for a couple of days though, but I was doing pretty well with the deck. I'm sure if I had more time to test, the list might be slightly different with more tech cards. I was surprised how well the deck does. Uh, not too many matchups felt unwinnable except against Law. This deck does play similar to Queen, but it's a lot more fun. So I hope this video piques your interest and you give them a try and let me know what you think. Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.